This is one of the few polling stations in Zambia. By morning, only a few were casting their votes. I didn't even uh, wait up to like 30 minutes. And here I am, I've already voted. Like in 2006, we had to make use from outside the premises. And I think this is good. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy with uh, how the elections have been conducted. And they were a little bit, uh, a little bit fast. Yeah, the only problem is because uh, of the rains, maybe any time the rains might come and uh, uh, I don't know if uh, people will turn up into big numbers as, as before. Opposition leader Hakainde Hichilema cast his vote in the capital, Lusaka, and has accused the ruling party of attempting to perpetrate violence. We don't want pangas perpetrated by the ruling party candidate Edgar Lung, uh, and he has actually issued a public pronouncement instructing his cadres to attack our members and our sympathizers. There's no credible leader, never ever, who can promote violence in a country like ours. The by-election was called in the Southern African country after President Michael Sata passed away last October. The winner of Tuesday's election will succeed Sata. Four candidates are vying for the presidency. However, the vote is seen as a close contest between the ruling patriotic France Edgar Lungu and Hakainde Hichilema from the United Party for National Development. We want to thank you, dear Lungu, who is also a justice and defense minister, is described by some analysts as a relatively unknown candidate. Results are expected on Thursday.